Hey guys, uh, this is Kevin from today's Technical Connect. Uh, I posted a video about how to install Mojave, and I did get a couple questions about how to downgrade after installing the beta version of Mojave. So I figured I'd make a video about it. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, this is version 10.14 beta. 18A 293U. If you go into the App Store and you search for macOS High Sierra, it won't come up because technically you're on the latest version of the OS. So what we have to do is uh, you're going to use the link in the description below. When you go to that website, it'll give you a uh, download link, and the download is just under five gigs. So that's the actual OS file that you're going to need to do this. Once you have it, double click the zip file and extract the file. Then move your file into the applications folder. Next, go to search and type in terminal because we're going to be using that to create our bootable USB. Plug in the drive and go to disk utility. You're going to want to go to macOS extended case sensitive journaled and erase the disk and format it to get ready to be bootable. Then you're going to rename it Installer. In Terminal, you have to make sure of two things. One, that your volume is named correctly. So in the example, we named it Installer. And we renamed the file that you downloaded and unzipped in the Applications folder. We renamed to Install Mac OS. Not Mac OS install Mac OS. There you go. These are two very important things. So once you have that going, paste the code into terminal, hit enter, put your password in, and watch the magic happen. So right now it's going to create a bootable USB that once it's finished, we're going to reboot and hold down the option key once it starts up so that it boots up using the USB key that we just made instead of the hard drive. So as you can see, I'm holding down the option button as the laptop is restarting and I have my USB plugged in. It gives you options. One is the Macintosh hard drive. The other one is the USB that says install Mac OS Sierra. Click Mac install OS Sierra. Now you have a few options. If you try to go right into install Mac OS and you hit continue and hit continue again, it'll seem like it's going to automatically install Mac OS, but there's a problem. The hard drives will be grayed out because you have a newer operating system on it. So we're going to have to go into disk utility first and reformat the drive. This is why I said to back up all your stuff first. Now, me personally, I'm going to go into disk utility, and what I'm going to do is just repartition my hard drive because I have all my data on one partition and I have my operating system on another partition. So, if you go to partition and then you click the plus sign, you cr it creates a new partition, and you want to make sure that the format of the drive is Mac OS extended case sensitive journals. You can pick something else if you want, but that's what I tend to like. So you hit apply and partition and it will begin to partition a hard drive.
Once it's complete, you're ready to start. So you can go back to install macOS and hit continue and this time once you hit continue and agree and agree once more you'll have the option now for on the untitled drives to click install and the installation will finally start Once it's done, you just go through your initial configurations for the new install. And then once this is complete, I will just show you that this is, without a doubt, Mac OS High Sierra. Installation is finished, and if I go to about my Mac, you can see that the build is now 10.13.5 and it is Mac OS High Sierra. And I do want to show you one other thing. The reason why I partitioned my drive the way I did instead of just wiping it clean is because all my other data is still intact. So if I rename this to High Sierra, my data drive is still there. My Macintosh HD drive is, still has Mojave on it. As you can see, Mojave is fully intact and I could boot off that drive if I want. My data is still on, the second, on a separate partition. My external drive and ICR is on this partition that we just created. So that's it guys. Any questions, let me know. Subscribe, like, Talk to you later.